Hello, it's Sarah. And in this video, I wanted to focus on the body. I realized that in the uh, just the supply video, I did not share very much about how I came to make this shape. So, the main thing you need to re remember is that we are going to be using head pin, I'm sorry, eye pins, to create the little where I attach the beads to. So you need to be able to put an eye pin into the wood. Now, that being said, on these, I think, I, I went back and looked at my other video because I, I could not find the same wood that I used in this video. This video I used coasters and it was a set of four, kind of like this, but if you look, this is wider. This is probably an, a half inch wide. Now, they didn't have them, so forget about that. That's, I don't have that wood anymore. Also for the head, I used two discs and they're not even the same as the discs I have now because these have like a beveled or a, a rounded edge to them and I glued two together. So in other words, I need you guys to use your craftiness and create your own <laughs> wood for this because the thing is and I didn't buy them today because it was just like this at Hobby Lobby I went there I went looking for all the stuff they have circles like this now this one this is the two and a quarter inch it's quite wide and I think that would work but when you go down to the smaller size it's a bit more narrow so it's way thicker than these two were so that's why I glued two together of these. This is thicker than that, but it's not as thick as two together. So what I'm going to do for this one is I'm just going to use the ones I had in my stash that are a little thicker. And I think, because I'm just going to make a hole in here, I think I already did it. I just took it and centered it as best I could and gently pushed. All I need is enough, like, I have that much to be able to glue in my head pin. All right, what I wanted to share with you is I came up with the size of this art doll, I don't know, on my own, I guess. I just made a triangle. Now, this is what I was able to find at, this is from Hobby Lobby. So I got two packs of those because I am planning on making a couple more. This is also from Hobby Lobby and it's just a, it's called Utility Wood. This is called Utility Wood, and, <clears throat> and it's two pieces. So it's basically two squares. This was $2.49. They're both the same price, so you get about the same amount of wood in each pack, and they'll work. The, what I got at, uh, this was from Michael's yesterday. This is considered pine craft wood. Now, I like that it's pine. It says pine. What does this say? It doesn't say. <clears throat> because it needs to be soft enough. Now, this is a bit harder. I don't know if it's press board or something. So, like this. This is called American Made Wood Parts. And I guess it's pine, but it just seems like it's like a little bit more dense wood. The pine is nice because I can push that hole in it. And it paints up real nice. So any of these will work. Then what you're going to do is you're going to make yourself a template. And I'm going to show you how I did that. So we want to come away with a piece of wood like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a piece of file folder. So this is the cheesy, cheap file folder. It'll work just fine. And you're going to make a line, a straight line. And I have a ruler that I'm going to, let me just, got to clear a few things off my desk. All right, I need a pencil. Okay. <clears throat> so this is what I'm going to create to make the template. Then I'm just going to take this and trace it onto the wood and cut the wood. I have a bandsaw that I can use. You can do this with a hand saw, a scroll saw, if a friend has a scroll saw, a table saw, whatever. There's a lot of different ways you can get there. You know, and I'm hoping you can figure that out. But, all right, so I am going to make a straight line just because I have a cheat sheet. All right, so I'm just going to make a straight line. 
because, okay, and it's four inches. I want this to be four inches up. So that's going to be, that's how tall my body is, four inches. So I'm just going to make a line, and I'll cut this down on my, uh, I'll use my little um, cutting thing. I, my cutter, I never use this anymore. It's so good. This thing is awesome. So I'm just going to cut this down to four inches. I didn't even have to measure because I, okay. So just for tutorial sake, now I have a four inch piece of cardstock to work with because my little body is going to be four inches tall. Now, when I, the proportions of this are based on the ones I already made. You can do what you want. So for the neck, just because I think I must have done it because I wanted it to be proportionate to this size circle. So when I looked at it, I thought, what's proportionate? I, if I was using these bigger circles, I would probably want to make a bigger triangle. You know, it doesn't look proportionate. So I was working, probably working with what I had. I mean, these are other versions. They're a little more uh, rounded. So that's basically what I did. I was going to say, I have this other, um, never mind. No, I'm not. Okay, let's just stick with this. <clears throat> so for what I ended up doing was making the top part, the neck part, is three quarters of an inch. So three quarters of an inch. The bottom part is three and three quarters of an inch. So see it? Three and a quarter. So what I, how I did that was, and it's a funky measurement. So say if you did it, let's just do it an inch for argument's sake. I would go at the half inch line and put a tick mark. Let me just make sure it's straight. Here and here at the one inch. And let's just say for argument's sake, the bottom's four inches. Because, and then I can just divide it in half easily. So I'm going to go two and two. See what I'm saying? So here's my two and two. Nope, it's a little, hold on. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I assumed this was, okay. So, and then... I'm, all I did was connect from the tick mark to the tick mark. I don't know why I'm calling it a tick mark, but it's a tick mark. <laughs> so I connected those. And I'm just going to make this one and show you, because this is just so simple measurement-wise, I will give you the exact measurements on the other one. Something made it look wonky. So let me show you what this body would look like. So this is four inches on the bottom and one inch on the top, I'm pretty sure. So this is all you're concerned about. I mean, it's definitely wider, but the thing is, it could be because the neck isn't, this isn't the neck. The neck is going to be here where the connection is. And I was even thinking about putting something there, like a little ring. I, I did it on a different art doll that I have. Let me show you. I'm going to go get her. Um, these are totally different, but I just like the idea of covering up the dowel. These are steampunk ones. And I just used, like I made necklaces. So just to cover up the dowel. So this is a steampunk girl. And see how I just put this crown? It was just a bead finding that I had, and I, I made it into a necklace and just put it to just have something there. And then on this one, I put um, this chain of, like, bolts. So I was thinking of doing something like that with this one because basically you'd just be hiding the connection. So you could do it with fabric. You could just put a little piece of ribbon that is just connected to itself to kind of hide it. But, but see how this is definitely wider and that might look more proportionate, but I don't think it would make that much of a difference. And especially if we use the bigger, um, which I don't have here. 
I have one, I'll show you. So you could, depending on what size head you have, here she is, here it is, hold on. I'm trying to, um, I was going to make this other one with, it's like more of a dragonfly, um, aren't thou? I'll find her, here she is. So that body didn't look as, um, purport, unproportionate. What am I trying to say? Look, I'm trying to find the big head. I'll show you. This is the big head that I was going to use for, see, like, for some reason, the little head didn't look proportionate, but when I put the big head, it looks more proportionate. Like, I would just make the legs longer and the arms longer, but I don't know. Like, why? I can't tell you why. I don't know. It's what looks right to me. So, <clears throat> I do have to say that I do like the proportion of, see that? I think I'd need to make it longer. So if you have this bigger head, just play with some paper first. And I cut these, out. I made the shape myself, and it was out of a smaller piece of wood that I had in my stash. It didn't get that wide, so I had to use, you know, and I just put these dragonfly wings on it. And I got to figure it out because I really want to finish her. <coughs> she could be like a garden angel or something. All right. So back to what we're going to do. So this one happens to be one inch this way and four inches this way across. And it's four inches up and down too. So... I don't know if that's the best. Let me show you mine. This is the actual measurement for mine. It's three quarters across the top. So all you would do is start at the center line. Like I'll do another one. So we'll make a center line. I just don't like the measurements. They're really just hard to do the math. And I, it really frustrated me. So I was trying to. So I'm just going to make again. I'll make a center line. Because the reason I make the center line is then you know that the top is centered and the bottom is centered when you go to do it. So the bottom's only three and three quarters. It's not four inches. So it's three and three quarters. What's half of three and three quarters? Well, those of you who are really good at math probably know it's one and seven eighths, but it took me a while to figure that out. <laughs> so you're gonna take your one and seven eighths measurement and put it on the line so right here, see I don't even have, uh, what am I doing? One and seven eighths and one and seven eighths is three and three quarters. So I didn't give myself enough room. Let me just make a straight line over here. Should have just done it the right way first. So in other words, the center point. This is one and seven eighths, and this is one and seven eighths, and that equals three and three quarters. So I'm just going to measure one and seven eighths and put my little tick mark again, and then go all the way to three and three quarters right here, and just make a tick mark, and then go to the center. What's half of three quarters of an inch? Well, I didn't know, but it's three eighths. <laughs> So you find your three eighths. These are, there's eight little things. So I'm going to go to three. One, two, three. There's three. Make a tick mark. And then three quarters of an inch, or is it three quarters? Yeah, three quarters is half three quarters right here. So now I just connect those tick marks. That's how I got my sides. To be kind of triangular you know so it's like a dress it's like it looks like a little dress that's what I liked about it too but you can actually make your body any shape you wanted that's what I did on here I thought because I had made these art dolls this is basically a little mini version of her but I knew I wanted a corset and stuff like I was going with a and pantaloons and so I knew I was going with a certain design so that's how that body shape came to be and I just cut that out of like two by fours that you get at um, hot, um, 
Home Depot, whatever they're called, whatever size wood it is. Um, so I just kind of mimicked that on here and thought, well, I'll make an art doll, you know, this way. Um, and it's different. It's definitely, as I'm looking at it, it's not exactly the same. I did something down here. I narrowed this instead of, I don't know. Um, so, you can make the shape, and I, I gave her a neck. You know, like, this is kind of like shoulders and a neck, so it's much wider. The shoulders are more wide set. Here, we don't have shoulders. You know, it's kind of like the beads are going to be the shoulders. When we put the beads on... They're going to come out like that. So the beads will make the shoulders, right? And then the feet will be down here. And the head, it, it just looks better. This is just more proportionate to me. So that's why I did it like that. All right, that's it. I just wanted to come on now. If you would like to see how I cut it, I can bring you downstairs. I'm going to use, oh dear, I must cut that. Let me take... Um, because I was also going to try and cut some circles. Because I don't have any more, I didn't buy them. I had, they were there, but I just decided not to buy them. I think I'm going to try and, um, just let me cut this open. Cut some circles. Now that's going to be hard to do, but the fact is, it doesn't have to be perfectly round. And guess what? I can even change the shape. Maybe I could make it be um, more of like a heart shape or an oval like that, you know? It's just that, okay, so basically what I would do is just, I'm going to trace this just like that on my wood. But what I'm saying is, maybe I don't make it as round. Maybe I make it a little, put a chin on there. I don't know. I would play around with it for sure because, but then a head isn't like that. A head goes down like that, right? Like it's not, and then it's not, I don't know. So I would play around with making my own shapes because I like to do that. I like to, but the circle is super simple. And the other thing is, my husband, we have a, a laser cutter. So I could get him to cut me circles out of quarter inch. Let me see if this is quarter inch. Yeah, this is quarter inch wood. Because it says 5 by 25, five, I'm sorry, 5.25 by 12 by 0.25. So it's a quarter inch wide. That The Glowforge generally cuts things thinner. Like, let me see if I have anything on my desk that was cut by the Glowforge. No, but I think it's um, eighth inch. Let me say this. See how this is like eighth inch? That's generally the size that the Glowforge cuts, but it can cut quarter inch. I was talking to Joe about it. <clears throat> so there is a possibility that I can get him to cut me some circles. Now, I'm not sure that I'm going to provide you guys with the circles. That's the thing. Like, I just do this for me. I don't even know if my Etsy store is still open because they wanted something for me and I waited too long and I don't know. Anyway, so all I'm going to do is take this wood just right out of the packaging and make the shape. And then I'm going to do another one. So I'm going to flip this and put it right next to it. Look at that. That worked out. So I can really you whoopsie, the one thing I didn't do is uh now I have a bandsaw. A bandsaw is a pretty powerful saw. A band it has a band of teeth that go around. Like a jigsaw or a scroll saw just goes up and down. And it's a little more manageable. Not that a bandsaw is not manageable. It's just, it's a very fast thing. I don't know. I can do it though. So anyway, so I have two. So I just made the best use of that. Now, if I were going to cut a head, let me see if I could fit one here. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and trace this here.
and I'm gonna see if I can cut that out so basically I'll just go straight down this line with the saw to the end then I'll go straight down this line and then straight down this line you know what I mean and then I'll have a piece of scrap wood that I'll be able to play around and take my time and I'll be back and I'll show you how it uh, works I mean I could take the camera but it's just a mess down there so I'll be right back okay um the bandsaw is excellent for straight cuts you can't go wrong it's just really fast but I wanted to compare um, if I look look how much off it is that's so weird did I use the right template <gasps> I might not have even used the right template oh dang it so anyway I can go make another line I used the wrong template see this is why real time is so in insane for me you get to see how I but I am going to go down and take one more slash off the side um, just to because I like the um, perspective the proportion of it and then I'll show you the circle and we'll see how um, and generally when I'm cutting I try to like cut to the like side of the line but I go on the line and then I come out like it's it's hard to stay <laughs> so I have to cut those again but look at the circle I mean that turned out pretty good let's see I mean it's pretty circular and see how it's wider because I use the same wood so it'll be the same exact wood size and I can definitely put um, a hole in it but let's see it's a little bigger um, but not much I mean like just by a smidge there's a little bit I could definitely get away with it so I and then of course I would have to sand that I have my sandpaper here um, really this is my so like because it just kind of this is the bottom and probably the saw the blade is so dull like honestly I don't know we've had it forever that bandsaw so like I would just give it a sanding and the thing is this is going to be covered with felt and um, paint so just get all those kind of the big the real gnarly parts off um, but other than that you're gonna I, I would definitely use that see there's a piece of pencil I don't know if you can see that I have so many shadows but there's like a pencil line right there that I kind of missed it so all right I'm glad I made this because I was getting a lot of questions from you guys that is the problem with this now that being said if I can figure something out I'll let you know um, but this I'm telling you this art doll that I did inspired me for this too because look she's got this this uh, a key ring kind of in her hand here can you see that it's a charm with keys and then on this side a clock she should have a lock <laughs> but because it's steampunk look how cool that's the most fun part is embellishing everything choosing all of your different um, this one I made a she's got a key and a little made with love charm um, yeah it looks like she's got a suitcase down the bottom as her base with like her travel stickers and stuff anyway I hope that helps just be crafty and, and figure something out um, this is the I uh, a quarter inch is you don't really want to go any slimmer than quarter inch but that being said maybe you can figure out a different way to attach your arms and stuff like it's okay um, you don't have to do it the same way as me um, all right so I'll be back and we're gonna get started I've already I filmed this but these are my two girls so far so I'm going to be choosing my beads. We're going to do, I'm going to be filming the faces, but I'll share this video first. So these are the two that I've made so far. Anywho, thanks for watching.